final exam is part of component 2 which counts for 40% of your total mark. I mentioned this at the very beginning when I spoke about the structure of the course. Now for the GCSE art you have to sit on a 10 hour exam spread over 2 to 3 days at the end of year 11 and you need to produce a final art piece. For this final art piece you need to pay attention to the AO4 which is the personal response. Bear in mind that you are expected however to produce some preparatory work for it. You will have a supervised period to develop your prep work under the guidance of your teacher between the beginning of January when the external set assignment is released till the exam day. Usually the exam is sometime in May so that gives you around 4 months to prepare. The prep work you create during this period is as important as the final piece. For the prep work you need to focus mostly on the assessment objectives 1, 2 and 3. Now let's look at some examples of exam themes from previous years so you get a better understanding of what to expect. The official term used for the exam theme is externally set assignment. I already mentioned this at the very beginning of the course. The exam theme set for 2019 was reflection. In 2018 was fragments. Before that it was past, present and or future. Apart and or together freedom and so on. There's so many but I'm just showing you the themes from the past five years so you get an idea. The themes are quite general and open to interpretation so that students can adjust them to their own personal interests. But let's have a closer look on how an exam paper looks like before you get all confused. We will look at the theme fragments as given by Edexcel. I have included a PDF file of this exam paper so you can download it and have a look at it yourself. So this is how an exam paper looks like from Edexcel examination board. The exam paper is quite useful as it introduces the theme by giving you examples of artists that you can use as reference as well as ideas on how you can approach the topic. Bear in mind that these are all suggestions. It does not mean that you have to follow them to the letter. It is just a starting point for inspiration. In these first two pages from the example, Edexcel introduces the theme fragments and proposes to explore it in relation to people. While presenting some artist's work and some notes under the images with helpful suggestions. In the next page there is another suggestion that relates fragments to the man-made creations and that can be architecture, paintings, design and other forms of art. Here we see examples of how different artists use broken fragmented objects to create work. Again you see more notes under each image. I suggest when you go through the paper to use a highlighter and highlight keywords and artists names that you find interesting and could use in your prep work. This will also help you to start creating your mind map. Here's another suggestion about fragments in relation to the environment and the natural world with more examples of artists work. So again all these references presented in the exam paper are supposed to help you get started and understand how you can approach the theme. The theme is quite open for interpretation, so usually as an art student, you're given the freedom and flexibility to study themes through your own interests. So once you get your exam paper in your hands, how do you plan for your final exam? You only have 4 months to work on your exam theme, from January until May, so time is limited. You're going to be busy with your other subjects too and if you're not organized and planned properly for this, you might jeopardize your 40% marks. First of all, you need to make sure that you fulfill all four assessment objectives in your prep work. Make a note of this is very important. As soon as you receive your exam paper, the first thing you need to do is to go through the four AOs one by one again to remind yourself and develop your exam prep work according to that on a new sketchbook. You need to basically repeat the steps of your portfolio from component 1 in component 2 as well. 
obviously in a smaller quantity due to the shorter time period. But you still have to produce a mind map, do some artist research to get inspired, experiment and develop your own ideas with your chosen materials and techniques. So that's the first step to take for planning for your final exam. Now for the actual final exam day, I suggest you follow a series of steps that I'm going to talk in detail now. The first step is to write down your idea for your final exam in a few paragraphs and analyze your concept. Discuss how you plan to relate it to the exam theme and how it connects to the prep work you have developed so far. Is it going to be a painting, a collage, a clay sculpture, a mixed media piece? What imagery, symbols, colors are you going to use? What is the message you want to communicate? Second step is to decide how big your piece is going to be. Bear in mind that the exam is 10 hours. Don't make too small of a work that you finish in less than 10 hours or too big that you run out of time. Third step is to decide what materials and techniques you will use and then make a list of the supplies and materials you need to bring in on the day of the exam. For example, you might need paints, brushes, nails, glue, newspaper, cloth and so on. Collect them all in a box so you're organized. Once you decide on your final idea, make a series of sketches, five to six drawings and choose the best version. Then create a small model sample for your final version. This will help you to practice and also prepare for any unexpected difficulties you might face during the exam day. Also, it will help you plan out your time wisely. Once you have created the sample piece, you need to write down a list of thoughts, observations of the difficulties you faced, any new ideas or changes you want to make. Step 6 is going to help you for step 7 where you need to break down your process of making the artwork into steps and put it in time slots for the 10 hour exam. Basically at this stage you're estimating how long it will take you to make the artwork and how long for each step. This will help you to prepare on how you will use those 10 hours and make sure you will finish everything in time. In the PDF guide on page 9 to 11, I have included a step-by-step -step process to help you plan for the exam day. So print this out, fill in the questions at each step and stick it in your sketchbook as part of your prep work as this will help you stay on track. This guide will help you plan out properly for the day and make it less stressful. 